So, what now what we will do is solve the dynamic uh, the uh, secretary problem using Bellman's dynamic programming algorithm. Okay. So, in order to do that we need to first write out what the total cost is of this uh, or the total reward in this particular problem is. So, remember what we are trying to do is maximize over all policies by the expectation of H of S n plus T equals 1 to n minus 1 R T of S T comma A T where S T now remember is the state at time T and this is the state not of the original Markov chain but of the synthetic uh, controlled Markov chain that we have created. So, it is a ST and SN these uh, these, uh, these belong to this belong to S which is S dash union delta ok. The actions here are are the actions that are available at a particular state. So, if you are uh, is this is C or Q if S T is in S, S dash sorry and if, if it is Q, it is uh, it's continue if S D is equal to delta right. So, this is the uh, now if you remember the cost that we uh, the, the, the cost and the rewards that we incur in the secretary problem. So, if we, we had made this assumption that if we, if we uh, continue at any stage we, there is no cost. That means there is no co no cost associated with interviewing further. So if we if we continue the uh, CT if any if at any uh, whatever the state may be if we if the if the action we take is continue, then we incur a cost of zero. Now if we uh, if uh, if we quit, then we get a we get a reward uh, based on the state that we quit in. So, if we quit at a state in which the current candidate is not the best you have seen so far in that case uh, the, uh, the, the reward that we get is 0. Whereas, if we quit in a state where the current candidate is the best you amongst, amongst uh, is the best you have seen so far then the reward you get is the probability that the current candidate is the best amongst all alright. So, these, these are the rewards and the we have a terminal reward also which depends on whether the uh, uh, the, fine, the, the, uh, the candidate at the last step is the best you have seen so far or not ok. If it is not then it is 0, if it is then in fact the reward is 1 alright. So, this is this is therefore the, the total uh, the, the entire cost function uh, or the reward function. So, what we will now do is apply dynamic programming to this particular problem. So, for that what we remember what we need to do is for uh, define our uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the value function or the cost to go ok. So, let us define J n. So, J n remember is defined as the terminal reward or the terminal cost. So, J n of 1 is, is equal to H of 1, J n of 0 is equal to h of 0 and j n of delta is equal to h of delta and that is that is equal to 0. So, remember h so h of delta was 0, h of 0 was 0. So, consequently and h of 1 was 1. So, j n of 1 therefore is 1 j n of of 0 is equal to j n of delta is equal to 0. Now, let us do this let us write out the dynamic programming equation for any time t let us less than n ok. Now, j j t now suppose you are uh, in a uh, let us write these for two specific two cases first we will write base we want to write j t as a function of the state that we are in right. So, j t of let us write this for 1 that means this is the at time t we are in state 1 that means at time t the candidate that we are presently seeing at that time is the best you have seen up until that time t ok. So, 
we have in this case two choices we can either stop or we can continue. So, the the uh, the dynamic programming uh, uh, algorithm what it asks us to do is to maximize choose the maximum of two per of two terms the which the first term is the is the reward that you would uh, the 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 reward that you would get from the expected reward from this time onwards that you would get if you continue the second is the expected reward that you would get from this time onwards if you if you quit right so that quantity in turn is equal to the each of these quantities so let me write it like this the reward So, stage wise reward let us say plus the expected reward to go from continuing. the other term is the so this is the stage wise reward plus the expected reward to go from continuing right now the, there is no, if you continue there is no cost and there is no reward so there is really no stage wise reward but i have written it here for completeness sake on the other hand the other term the other of action that you have is to quit if you quit okay then what we get is the reward from quitting reward from stopping or quitting ok. Let us write it as reward from stopping. So, if you stop the search at that time whatever reward you would get is that ok. So, let us write out these two, uh, these two terms explicitly uh, the if you uh, if you uh, so this term ok. So, <coughs> this is from action C this here is from action action q. So, what are these two terms? So, let us write it like this stage wise reward plus the expected reward from continuing. So, if you uh, if uh, if you continue ok then then you do not incur any cost. So, so then but but let us write this for completeness sake it is a the cost you incur is minus c t ok the cost the cost you incur is minus c t of 1 plus now if now in if you uh, if you are uh, the the uh, this the expected reward to uh, the expected reward to go from continuing depends on is calculated in the following way. So, you are presently in state 1. So, suppose in the next time step you you end up in state 1 then that the probability of that happening is probability of 1 given 1 times the, the reward to go of be, uh, from being in state 1 at time t plus 1. So, is j t plus 1 of 1 plus probability of 0 given 1 j t of plus 1 of 0 ok. So this is this is that uh, this is the first term, which is the uh, the uh, the the what this is the uh, the expected reward that you would get if we took the action of continuing. The second term is the is the reward that you would get the expected reward that we get from uh, uh, from stopping. So if we stop, then we transition to stay. Uh, then then we get a reward. Remember of R t R t of one and we transition with probability 1 to the stopped state delta ok. So, so it is a reward from stopping plus let me write here also the expected uh, 
Now we, you transition with probability 1 to stop state delta. So in that case the reward to go is, is jt plus 1 of delta. This is, uh, this is the expression we have for jt of 1. So it is the max of these two terms. Okay. So out of these remember that uh, this term here this is 0 remember, uh, remember we will also soon see that this is also 0. Okay, so this this term also is zero. I will just establish that in a moment. But in for before we uh, get to that, let's write out J T of zero. So J T of zero now is again written out in a similar way. It's is the max of two terms: the reward from continuing and reward from uh, from stopping. So once again, uh, the reward from uh, the reward from continuing is now minus ct of 0 okay this is the cost of continuing plus now pt of 1 given 0 times jt plus 1 of 1 plus pt of 0 given 0 jt plus 1 of 0 okay and the reward that we have from quitting is we, we remember we get RT of 0, RT of 0 plus we, since we after we quit we transition with probability 1 to the stop state delta. So you have JT plus 1 of delta. So once again recall that since if we quit in, in state 0 we do not our reward is 0. So this term is also equal to 0 and there is no cost of continuing once again. So this term is also 0 and I will show you that as I said that this was this is also equal to 0. So in order to show that jt of delta is equal to 0 all we need to observe is actually that uh, we can write for instance jn minus 1 of delta okay the uh, jn minus 1 of delta is uh, when we are in state delta we have only one action. Which is which is to continue, right? So therefore, J n minus one of delta, and we we incur no uh, there is no stage wise reward or or stage wise cost. So the J n minus one of delta would be equal would be equal to J n of delta, and J n of delta is equal to zero. And in fact, we can do this recursively uh, and establish this for every t. So in fact, J, we get that J t of delta is equal to J t plus one of delta and this is equal to 0 and this is true in fact for all times t. Okay. So consequently what, is, what this is effectively saying is that no matter uh, once you are in state delta there is no further reward or no for, uh, further cost. Okay. So all, uh, all, all the rewards or cost to go from that uh, at that uh, once you are in state delta are equal to 0. Okay. So as a result of this, this term here is is 0 this is uh, this is dropped and likewise this term is also 0. Okay. So now let us uh, let us uh, let us simplify these uh, the terms that remain so and write these out explicitly. So jt of 1 and jt of 0 okay. jt of 1 uh, note uh, can be written in the in as in the following way. So actually first let us, uh, so let us write out jt of 0, jt of 0 can be written out as in the following way. So it is right here, so p, remember pt of 1 given 0 was, was simply 1 by, so it is max of these two terms, pt of 1 given 0 is simply 1 by t plus 1, 1 by t plus 1 times and then there is a jt plus 1 of 1 plus pt of 0 given 0 is t by t plus 1 jt plus 1 of 0. Now rt of 0 and jt plus 1 of delta are both 0. So max of this comma 0 is what is being is, is what is written here. But remember j uh, is 
okay. So, j uh, if we if we write this out recursively j is always going to be greater than equal to 0 since uh, that is uh, that is simply because that we can check this via writing by comparing the the terminal the terminal ones. So, j n is uh, j n of 1 is 1 j n of 1 is 1 j n of 0 is 0. So, therefore, when I write the same for t equal to n minus 1 I would get that t j t of uh, j t of j n minus 1 of 0 is is uh, is greater than equal to 0 and and using that I will also and, and similarly I will also get that j t of j n minus 1 of 1 is greater than equal to 0. In other words by looking at these two equations it is easy to see that actually j that j t is is greater than equal to 0 for uh, uh, for all t ok and j t of both 1 and 0 j t of 1 comma j t of 0 are greater than equal to 0 for all t. So, consequently this max of something comma 0 the, 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 the 0 from there can be dropped and I can simply write j t of 0 as 1 by t plus 1 j t plus 1 of 1 plus t by t plus 1 j t plus 1 of 0 all right. Now, let us go back and look at this equation here which is the expression for j t of 1. j t of 1 will have 1 by t plus 1 from the this probability times j t plus 1 of 1 plus 1 by t j t plus uh, 1 by uh, 1 uh, t by t plus 1 j t plus 1 of 0. And what we have from r t plus r t uh, from the second term is r t of 1. Now, if you recall what r t of 1 uh, was r t of 1 was t by n right. So, so consequently we we get uh, we get that j t of 1 is the max of t by n comma this this other term. Now, look carefully at this other term this is simply 1 by t plus 1 times j t of 1 uh, j t plus 1 of 1 plus t by t plus 1 j t plus 1 of 0 and that is nothing but that is nothing but this particular term itself right. So, consequently this actually can be written as t max of t by n comma j t of 0 this is j t of 1 ok. So, notice uh, notice what the uh, what the uh, what this is effectively telling us. Since we eliminated this we have we have now got these two recursions and these need to be now solved in order to find the uh, the value function or equivalently the rewards to go ok. Now, look at let us look at these uh, uh, look at what we have decided here. We dropped this particular 0 here because in, in this state because we found that this term was always greater than or equal to 0 which means that when we are in state 0 okay, when we are in state 0 the optimal thing to do is is to continue remember 0 was the reward from quitting ok this was the reward from quitting. So, 0 was the reward from quitting in that case you are better off continuing what this is telling us is that if the candidate you have seen so far is not a candidate you are seeing right now is not the best you have seen so far ok. So, if the present candidate is not the best you have seen so far. then simply continue right that means in state 0 you continue ok you continuing is optimal in state 0 ok. So, in state 0 
you should continue. So rega uh, regardless of what the time is, no matter what time it is, you you continue when you are when the candidate you have seen so far, candidate uh, you are seeing right now is not the best you have seen so far. Okay. On the other hand, let us see what happens in state 1. Now, in state 1, there is a, the what is being compared are is t by n and, and j t of 0. j t of 0 is the reward to go if you continue at that time, that is the that is what we have found here, right. If you continue, the reward to go is here, the, the reward to go the, that we have in at time t that is being compared with t by n t by n is the reward that we would get from quitting. Okay. So, j t of 1 compares these two terms. So, what this is when, when t by n is greater than j t of 0, in that case it is, it is it's optimal to quit. That means if t, so if your time has reached a stage where t by n is now greater than uh, the reward that you would get from continuing, the optimal thing is to quit. So, if, if t by n is greater than j t of 0, optimal action is to stop. And if t by n is less than j t of 0, We continue. If t by n is equal to j t of n, j to j t of zero, then either is optimal. Either action can be chosen. So what this suggests is an optimal policy of the following form. This suggests that what we should do is we should continue uh, continue to click. Uh, we should keep continuing up until you reach a time where you know you have probably you are sort of running out of options where it seems like you have seen enough and now the probability that you will see any bet some any candidate that is better than all of these uh, than the one you are seeing so far is is uh, has dropped to below a certain threshold okay it becomes unlikely that you will see a, some a candidate that you have, that is better than what you have seen so far and in that case you just quit Okay. So, it suggests a policy, this suggests, let me write it like this, this suggests an optimal policy of the form of the following form. Basically, you click continue up for up, up until the uh, time tau. Okay. So, observe the first tau candidates, the first let us say tau candidates. Okay. So, you keep clicking continue until you have seen enough candidate okay. and then select the one who is better than all previous ones. Right? So, which means in other words what this is saying is you are looking for a pi star e which is equal to mu 1 star to mu n minus 1 star with the following feature. So, mu t star of 0 is continue if t is less than equal to tau, mu t star of 1 is equal to con. So, uh, mu t star of 0 or mu t star of 1 are, are continue if mu t star of 0 and mu t star of 1 are both continue if t is less than equal to tau. No matter uh, so, no matter what uh, what state you are in, if if t is less than equal to tau, you just continue. And once t becomes greater than tau, once you have seen enough enough candidates, 
you you do the following you you write you say mu t star of 1 is quit that means you see the best the candidate you are presently seeing is the best you have seen so far then you quit mu t star of 0 is continue that means or if that means if you are not if you if the candidate you are seeing uh, right now is not the best you have seen so far then you would continue. So, which means that you you keep searching up until a certain time regardless of how good the candidate is you keep exploring and when once you uh, have explored enough you you see look at look for uh, if the present candidate is the best you have seen so far and you simply make him an offer. If you if the present candidate is not the best you have seen so far then of course you should continue further ok. So, this is uh, this it suggests an optimal policy of this form uh, it needs a proof to show that this is in fact the optimal policy. What we will do is we will complete this proof the proof of the optimality of this sort of policy in, in the in the following lecture.